Hi everyone, I'm Guan Ming from Nanyang Technological University. I will be representing my co-authors to present our work on mobile hand, real-time 3D handshape and pose estimation from a color image. In this work, we consider the problem where we are given an input color image of the hand and we aim to find the 3D hand pose in terms of joint angles as well as the 3D hand shape represented by a 3D hand mesh. We focus on addressing one of the main challenge, which is to design an efficient method capable of running at real-time rates on CPU or mobile devices. Our proposed neural network takes in a color image and passes through an image encoder which uses a lightweight CNN, the mobile net V3, to speed up computation time. The extracted image features are then passed on to a 3D regression module to output the camera and hand parameters after a few iterations. To allow end-to-end -end learning, we incorporate the differentiable Mano hand model, and we also propose a simple joint angle representation that is intuitive and allows easy control of the joint, such as the flexion of index finger. The hand model then uses the estimated hand parameters to output 2D key points and 3D joints. This allows the training of the network to be fully supervised with 2D and 3D information. Furthermore, we include regular regularization on the hand shape to prevent mesh distortion and constrain the joint angles within a feasible range. We conduct our experiment on two public datasets. The first dataset is the Sphero Hand Pose Tracking Benchmark, STB dataset, which only contains a single subject posing in the frontal pose. Whereas the recent Sphero Hand dataset contains much more challenging hand poses with object interactions and different number of subjects. The figure shows some qualitative results of our proposed method that can estimate both the 2D key points and the 3D hand mesh from an input color image. For the STB dataset, we compare our results with various deep learning based methods, and as shown in the percentage of correct key points PCK curve, our area under the curve AUC score of 0.994 is comparable with most of the existing works. We also use the same dataset to conduct a self comparison on the use of joint angle representation versus pose versus the pose PCA. As shown in the table, our proposed joint angle representation obtained the highest AUC score, whereas over parameterizing the hand pose with 45 degrees of freedom has a negative impact on the AUC score. Furthermore, there are still some limitations of our proposed method as seen in the fur hand data set. For example, it is interesting to note that in the presence of another hand, our network is unable to differentiate the two hands and incorrectly identifies the second hand as part of the thumb. In the next example, the network is also not robust enough to differentiate the direction of the palm, and the network may also fail under extreme viewpoint where the hand is heavily occluded. In summary, we present an efficient method to estimate 3D hand shape and pose that can achieve comparable accuracy against most of the existing methods while the runtime of our method is the fastest on GPU as well as a CPU. The proposed joint angle representation to articulate the hand model also helps to improve accuracy. Some future works includes increasing robust robustness of the prediction by training the network on a larger variety of hand data sets, and also extend the method to run on mobile devices to take full advantage of the portability and ubiquitous nature of mobile devices. Now we take a look on some background of hand tracking. Research on hand tracking based on color image have progressed from estimating sparse 2D key points to 3D joints, and recently it is moving towards dense estimation of 3D hand pose and shape, because a 3D hand mesh is much more expressive as compared to a 3D hand skeleton. A summary of recent works on hand mesh recovery is listed in the table, and we can see that most of the methods relies on the popular ResNet architecture to extract image features, and they can only run at real-time rates on GPU. In this work, we make use of a lightweight CNN, the MobileNet V3 architecture, which helps to reduce the computation time 
and allow real-time rates on CPU as well. We can also observe from the table that the Mano hair model is commonly used in most of the methods. Our next contribution is to use a joint angle representation to articulate the joint, the hair model. <coughs> the original Mano pose contains three degrees of freedom for each finger joint, and these redundant dimensions could result in invisible hand pose, such as the twisting of the finger joint. It is also possible to reduce the pose dimensionality using principal component analysis, PCA, but it can be hard to control all the fingers as they move together when a single PCA value is being changed. Therefore, we propose a simple joint angle representation that is intuitive and allows users to control and apply dry constraint easily, such as the flexion of the index finger. We evaluated our method on two publicly available data sets and the metrics for 3D hand pose we used the area under the 3D PCK curve and to evaluate the 3D hand mesh we report the mesh error and F score at two different thresholds. The figure shows the result of 3D hand pose where our PCK curve and AUC score are comparable with most of the methods except for Mano C and N. The table on the right shows the result of 3D hand shape estimation, where the mesh error and F score are also comparable with most of the work, except for Mano CNN and the work by Coulomb. Here we present some more results qualitatively for the STB datasets for two sequences the counting sequence and the random sequence.